Hey, um, hi everyone. Today's uh, session is about um, how we would be using a Jupyter Notebook on our laptops. So as you all know, like there are different IDEs that can be used to access Python on your laptop. But uh, Jupyter Notebook is one of the most popular ones and uh, it can be installed through Anaconda. So uh, I'm going to quickly just give you a brief overview about how to go about installing Anaconda on your laptops. So uh, firstly, um, let's see how to get to the Anaconda page, how to find it. So this is the URL that you can use to kind of uh, go to the home page of Anaconda. Um, over here, this is the page where you would be landing and then after you scroll down, uh, you will see an option where you can download uh, Anaconda installers. So this is what we need to install. Um, this is for Python 3.7. Please remember to download Python 3.7 and not Python 2.7. Um, based on the system uh, uh, that you are using, you should be uh, installing either Windows or Mac OS. And this is the installer, 64-bit graphic graphical installer. This is what you have to install. So I already have this uh, installer installed on my uh, laptop. So after you install it, it's going to come up on your downloads page. And this is how it shows up. So uh, the next step is to download the Anaconda installer from the link that you have on your downloads page, the exe file. So this lawn, uh, the, the download pro procedure is quite uh, straightforward. You just have to go about with the default settings of the installer. Uh, please remember uh, one thing while doing that. Uh, it is that if you're prompted to install Microsoft Visual Studio Code, skip that step because that's not something you would be needing for Jupyter Notebook. And also you can uncheck the checkboxes, learn more about Anaconda Cloud and learn how to get started with Anaconda unless you really want to learn more. Apart from that, uh, you can go to this link. You can access the Anaconda documents on the website and uh, also get a detailed view about how to go about with the installation. Uh, I already have it installed on my laptop, so I wouldn't be going through the whole installation process, but it's quite straightforward and uh, we have to be going about with the default settings of the installer. The next step would be how to, uh, after you have finished the installation, the next step would be how to kind of access Jupyter Notebook on your Windows laptop. Uh, because I'm using a Windows laptop, I'm demonstrating how to go about with a Windows laptop. So you go to the search menu and search for Jupyter Notebook Anaconda. This is this is the uh, option that you have to select. As soon as you uh, open it, you can see this uh, console that opens up, which is Jupyter Notebook Anaconda 3, and it is uh, automatically uh, linked to the page. This page, which automatically shows up on your uh, um, on on your uh, browser. So this is how uh, this is where you would be. Uh, this is the home page where from where you can be uh, accessing Jupyter. Now let's say you want to go to the uh, specific directory and you have a lot of folders there. And then in each of the folders, if you have like different uh, um, Python notebooks, you can access all of them from here. This is how you can go to the directory and open a Python notebook. But let's say you want to uh, start a new uh, document in your desktop. So that's how this is how you would be doing that. Um, you will be opening a new file over here. In this, will, this is the directory where you are creating the new uh, file. You can see it shows up over here. And then you can rename it to whatever test. So this is how you can now start accessing your uh, Python uh, notebook on, on a Jupyter, a Jupyter Python notebook. Now let's say I want to just add two numbers. This is just a sample code that I'm showing. So you can just type it out here and the command to kind of uh, a shortcut to run. You can definitely run it from here, but then a shortcut is just control and enter. So that is like a shortcut to run the code. 
uh, we can also add new cells from here we can cut copy paste the new cells and then uh, we can also add markdown uh, markdown cells uh, in place of code cells which would just be like typing something like test python so this is how you can be accessing your Python, uh, Jupyter Python notebook. It automatically gets saved to the current directory where you're saving the notebook. But just to be on the safe side, you can probably just like save and add a checkpoint. So that's how all your documents are saved. And uh, next time when you open Jupyter notebook the same way, you can access your document. <laughs> Now, uh, how to go about it if you're using a Mac system, how to go about with the installation process. The process remains pretty much the same. The only difference is that you have to install the Mac OS installer over here in place of the Windows one. And then uh, the installation process is quite similar. You have to go about with the default settings. And uh, if you need reference, you can use this anaconda link to just go about with the installation process in detail uh, and how to install it is you have to launch terminal i'm sorry i'm not using a windows systems uh, that's the reason why i can't show you but um, you have to go to launch term you have to launch a terminal and then from that uh, launchpad and then others and that's how you would be running your jupyter notebook command this is the screen that you should be seeing and then after that your notebooks default browser automatically opens up just the way it did on my windows laptop and then you can you are good to go with your um, python coding uh, process um, have a good time thanks thanks a lot for your time